guys, this is Lisa with EssentialOilsForSale.com and OilyAndLovingIt.com. And today we are going to make Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. It is super easy. I've been making it since 2014. And Young Living does have a Thieves Foaming Hand Soap that you can purchase. But with how often we wash our hands, it's much more economical to just make it ourselves. And like I said, it is super easy. It is two ingredients, three if you count water, takes under a minute so you can make it super quick. Now we chose Thieves because Thieves contains lemon, clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. Now you can also make your foaming hand soap with other essential oils. So you could use Christmas spirit, if it's during the holidays or maybe Northern Lights Black Spruce. Maybe you want a cheerier type of scent and you choose orange. But we have made the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, like I said, since 2014. So one important note is you wanna make sure that you have a foaming hand soap dispenser with the foaming hand soap pump. Because if you use just a regular hand soap pump, this isn't going to work for you. It's just going to come out liquidy. Now with Thieves, you can get either a 15 milliliter bottle and the 15 milliliter bottle contains 250 drops or one of our five milliliter bottles and that contains approximately 85 drops. If you don't already have Thieves, you can go to EssentialOilsForSale.com you can either purchase it as a retail customer or you can become a wholesale member by purchasing one of our starter kits. We have both a premium starter kit and a basic starter kit. The premium starter kit does come with Thieves, so you'll already be set. I also say please check out the Essential Rewards program because it is amazing. Uh, the basic kit is just $35. It comes with Stress Away which is a wonderful oil, and it comes with some other items. Again, be sure to add Thieves so you are ready to make your foaming hand soap. Now we go with the Castile soap from Dr. Bronner's, and this is the one that we've been using. This is the unscented um, baby. Now when I first start making this, I did use the almond scent, but I prefer the unscented. Now when I give you this recipe, it's kind of up to your own judgment because some people like this soap thinner and other people like it thicker. So when you make it, you can actually use up to a cup of the Castile soap. Now that is gonna make a pretty thick foaming soap, you know, lathers up really nice. You can go as much as say one or two tablespoons, kind of play with it. Um, I'm at the point where I just eyeball it because I make it so often. Now you're also going to take 10 to 15 drops of Thieves. So you're just gonna dump that in and then fill it with water. Now I, like I said, I've been making this since 2014. I haven't had any problems with dry skin or dry hands for making this, but if your hands uh, tend to err on the dry side, you can always add one to two drops of vitamin E. So, here I go. I just eyeball it. I add about that much of the liquid Castile soap. Like I said, 10. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is what I do. And I usually just have this under the sink, under the reverse osmosis and fill it up, but we're not by the sink, so I fill it up here. One thing to note, leave room at the top because you are going to put this on. So if you fill it straight up, you're gonna put it in and it's gonna go everywhere. Again, right now I just don't want it to go everywhere. So just put that on. You can pick these bottles up on Amazon. I usually keep a couple of extra spare ones. They do seem to last for how much we use them, almost a year. So, you know, it's a really good return on that. I usually just shake. I don't shake every time I use it, but initially I do. And then it's a brand new bottle, woo! <laughs> 
And there you go. It's nice and easy. I will have the recipe in the comments so you can see that. And again, if you're looking for essential oils, head on over to essentialoilsforsale.com. Thanks guys and happy making your foaming hand soap. Bye.